Hey, hello, IL-2 pilots in Pilotin, however you say it in other languages, I don't know. Uh, today we're going to be using the pen tool again, but I'm going to show you how to use editable work paths. And we'll be creating the 92nd Fighter Squadron emblem, which I've already created, but I'm going to do it again with you. Again, this tutorial is for beginners, people just starting out. Uh, veterans, if you do want to hang out and watch, you more than certainly are welcome. And you can comment and uh, give your feedback on the forum or here in the uh, YouTube. And as you can see, I've um, got all my reference photos here I posted in the forums already and more things going on, what colors things were. And well, on my way here, I got about 15 more airplanes to do that I have photos of. And the rest, I'm just going to have to guesstimate. This is going to be my new cockpit photo. I don't know who that nasty girl is in the other ones, but we're going to replace her with this girl. Anyway, uh, let's let's uh, close this down. And you can see right here the emblem is already done. I kind of try to make it an exact copy and just renew all the colors. But this is supposed to be their emblem, and I'm going to show you how to do this. So... What I'm getting at with the work paths, if you already have created them, you'll have this tab. So these also have layer function also. I know that doesn't make sense. I just said that twice. But you would click a new path, then start, and you would select it, and then go to your layer that you have, and then you would start drawing on that. So as you can see, this big blue outline showed up when we clicked on it. That means it's ready to be edited. So how you do that is you press A. You just click on it somewhere and one of the nodes pops up say we wanted the green to go a little bit further out this way it's not really going to work right now because i have the whole emblem collapse if i painted green it would start painting everything so just showing you what i mean and remember that we'll be taught what i taught you last time is when you hold down alt you can make a sharp edge or go that way or do whatever so anyway let's uh go ahead and delete all these paths which won't delete your emblem just allow you to edit it we'll go to layers and we'll go ahead and press the e key and we will make it bigger and we're just going to go erase it's all gone goodbye can't be done again in fact i'll even press Control save so now i'm really in it and of course we gotta wait oh there we go we're in it so let's name our layer we're going to import the photo, but I know the background is green. We'll say green uh, base. That's what we'll call it. Green base. We'll click on this layer and we'll go file and use embedded. Because if you use linked and say you move the file it was linked to or delete it, it won't show up in the layers anymore. It'll ask you to try to relink it and find it. It's not. It's not hard. It just adds more time to your workflow. So just go place embedded. That means it's actually going to be in the Photoshop file. So the file will be a little bit bigger. And when you're done, you can delete that layer and then it'll get smaller again. So let's go find. Okay, it's not on that one. Maybe it's in the first. Nope. I'll two skins. Oh, the photos here. There we go. So let's make this a little bit. Oh, it's already large. See, I got a couple here, and I got the Spanish Escadrille Wappens that I guess somebody found somewhere or they were donated, but you see the true colors of it. A lot of people make this blue, make the cross blue, and then this also blue, but as you can see here, it's not correct. There's your anti-cheat badge I created for Jason and all of them. There's the 89th, 92nd, 402nd. And and we're going to do this one today. So we're going to click on that. We're going to go place, and it's going to place it right in the middle. And with the new Photoshop, you don't have to hold down Shift anymore to do a all round size without any uh, an aspect ratio resize is what I mean. You can just drag now, but if you want to do a non aspect ratio, you just hold down Shift and then you can do the crazy funky whatever. But that's okay. We'll make it about about that big. I'm working in 4K right now. We'll do that. We'll click on the centered let's check okay so it's centered there and then drag down there we go now it's centered 
Yeah, we already got an A92nd squadron F bass. And we'll take the opacity down to, let's say, 60. Try 70. There we go. That should be good enough. And then we'll lock it. So go ahead and do that now after you've imported this file. Uh, if you don't have it yet, just type in 92nd Fighter Squadron emblem or patch and find this photo. If not, you can just sit back and watch and follow along because really the key is not creating this. It's it's using the tools. Um, you can see there's this is a leather patch that maybe a squadron member painted for the pilot in there or some mechanic. And you put the blue, the yellow, the white skull, red lightning bolts, and he's got the little cloud accents here. that You can just really use the brush and just kind of just tap, 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 tap. But I don't have a pen display, so... I mean, I can do it, but it will take some time. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the green base. But the first thing, we're going to click on our paths tool because we want this to be an editable path. And we're going to name this by double clicking in the words. We're also going to name it the same thing as our layer, green base. Click out in the open, and then that means it's unselected. And click here. Now we got that selected and then just simply click the layers so both are selected still see and this is how we're, we're going to design on i want you to press p not working for some reason click in here p there we go sucks out the click so there's two ways you can do this you can just click one node here or vertice or handle whatever you want to call it and you can just click and drag like that and just find something over here you're copying that's good but we're gonna stop in a second so and like I said this is our recreation so we don't have to follow exactly what the leather patch is here if you click there and then you can go right here and do this do that so remember what we talked about how we edited nodes so we click on right here We'll just drag this. We're going to keep the aspect ratio, so we're going to drag them in like that. And we can do the same thing here. Drag it in like that. We can just make it as close as how we want it. This is okay for me, but since I have OCD, I'm just going to go as close as possible. Then you can use the arrow keys, the cursor keys. On your keyboard sorry I got a mechanical keyboard then you could do it that way or just delete this we make sure we still got it selected now this is the way that I did it I clicked right here on this corner and I dragged anyway then let's see we can probably click and drag right here just kind of pretend there's a Straight surface here and try to match the uh, angle like right here I know it wouldn't be at 90 so it'd probably be like that probably like a 345 and you don't got to be exact right now just get it in the ballpark get it in the ballpark and then find this one here and drag it this this will save us time from having to go in and get the Bezier tool in fact I don't think that's what it's called Go look just to be sure. The convert point tool. Okay, that, that rolls off the tongue. Anyway, now we're going to do this by just holding Alt. So we didn't have to get a tool. We just use the keys we already got. Alt again. Just to, oh dang it. Not Alt. There we go. The same thing here. We'll kind of drag it out for a second and bring it as close as possible. Hold down Alt. Match the angle. Let go. Now we don't have to do it again. And we'll just kind of match. Just little curves, just like Bob Ross would say. Drag them in. And if you're already getting bored, you can kind of fast forward to you see me do something different. You know, that's what sucks about tutorials. But I'm just showing you how to do things. Uh, and that right there, that's that's pretty close to what I wanted. You know. It, Maybe I can angle this out a little bit different. It looks a lot better. But right now we're not trying to be exact, even though my 
the OCD side of my brain's taken over and it wants to do it exactly. So now that we got all that, if you guys remember from the last video, what's the thing we do next? Very good, little Johnny. Right click, make selection. All right, make selection. And we'll go OK, leave it the way it is. And then we're going to pick, like you can see, I already have the colors. I'll just pick a green, doesn't matter. Press B. Get that brush out there and then press your bracket right to make it bigger. And you can just go outside or you can go edit. So right now, for some reason, it's on a select inverse default. Sometimes this happens when you're painting. Like you, you do it one time and then it jacks it up for all the other things that you're doing. Even if you select it again, it'll still go back to the, the last thing you changed. It's, it's really strange. Anyway, so there you go. That's all in. Then you just press W. Or you can press Control D. So let's go to our paths. Right here, this tab right here. See right here? We now have an editable work path. So let's say we want to edit that. We did before. We'll click on it. Of course, the blue line shows up. Click on our node, and we just drag our handles and paint where we want to paint. We'll click out in the empty area right here to unselect. Go back to layers. So we're going to add a layer. Then we're going to say this is the blue base. Blue. Base. Turn this off to make that's the next I want to do. So yeah, we're going to do the blue next. We're going to do the yellow. We're going to do the blue clouds. We're going to do the skull, and then we're going to do the bolts. Then after that, we can insert layers underneath to do all this black. Yeah, well, for the skull, we'll need an editable pad. Actually, all of this we will, except for maybe, oh, let's see. And maybe we'll do the clouds, too, like that. Put editable paths in here and fill it in as we go. But we might do... Green, blue, blue, white, red, and then we'll do the black areas. Or we can even go as far as instead of green base, we can go black base and do the outline. And we could do blue, another black base, and then a yellow, and then a black base, and then a blue. That's one thing we can do. In fact, oh you know what? Delete this. Filling a path. See, this is the beauty of it. This was not an intentional mistake. But drag this. We'll just click on one and we'll make it to where you get a nice visible outline. I'm gonna offset. Unfortunately, this Photoshop, not that I've seen, has an offset tool to offset the path. I have not seen one yet. We'll just get it close to what we want to do. Hold down the arrow key. And we'll uh We'll manipulate like we did before. Go ahead and happy little curve. This is just my preference. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. We'll go ahead and we'll just right click select we still got that one we'll, we'll rename it in a second right, now see what I mean it's selected inverse again select inverse so now only that's selected so let's find a black that we want. and this isn't black black kind of like an off black so you can see how it's not like totally. And you never want to use when you're doing aircraft skins. I know a lot of you guys do it. I'm not picking on you or saying you're wrong. It's your preference, but it looks silly when you use a fully, fully saturated color in the game. Like I've seen people put the red numerals on their on their 109s and all that. I'm like, good lord, dude, my eyes bleed when I see that. Like literally, because I got a 4K screen, so you can imagine what it looks like to me when I see it. You got to keep that in mind. Not everybody. 
still using a 1080p when you got a 4k monitor with hdr and stuff going stuff like pops out and it really does reach out and grab you by the eyeballs man so you want to use this this is uh, i'll show you how black this is double click so it's about right there i can even go as far as up here even like about that that's even less black I'm already there so yeah that's a lot better and plus a lot of the paint and you can also press Control D to unselect. I pressed W when I did that. Some of the paint on the airplanes isn't glossy. So even if this was glossy, I wouldn't go. I'd probably go like right there. See that you can see a big difference, but again, it's not black black. If you're doing glossy. So glossy is always gonna look darker. It's just like when you wet your hair. Like even some of you like Viking warriors out there with your blonde hair, even when you wet it, it looks like um whatever ramen noodle yellow or something you know? <laughs> okay but you, you get what i mean so then we'll just rename this black base i double clicked on the name by the way just do the same thing over in the path so we can keep track of where we're going okay black base put layers now we're going to make a new layer this will now be Green base, green base. What do we do next? Good job. We go to paths and we right here. We gotta, unfortunately, it creates under and not over like it does in the layer. So you got to constantly drag it up. And actually, I don't know if it even matters for the paths. It, it might not. But we're just going to keep it the way we, we do it in the layers. So we'll keep everything matching. So we'll go green base. That make sure green base is selected. All right, so we got that selected. Let's go back to our layers and make sure our green base here is selected. And we're going to turn this. No, you know what? Turn him down. We we'll go 50. There we go. Lock it to make sure we're not doing anything on it. Green base. Get the green already selected. Press P for pen, caps lock off. Let's see, let's drag again. Sorry, we gotta do this again. It's about there. Do this for the cool thing about the blue area is we can use the green area for path out. Go about right. Drag again. Not pass. See. See what I mean? Sometimes the keys they just stop working altogether. So hold down Alt, like lower the button. Hold down Alt, select the size handle, and then drag and let go of the left mouse. Button. Now you don't have to do it to here. Angle. Then we'll right click, selection, press B. Oh, now it wants to work. Oh, there we go. We had a minus in there earlier. So now we got the registration mark in the middle. Of course, it wants to default back for some odd reason. So, what I wanted Control D. Now we'll turn down blue to 50, the green to 50, press enter. And then now we're going to do the blue, but this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to type in blue, we'll just go blue half. Okay, paths. 
that as a habit. Blue half, but we're not going to do what you think we're going to do. Here, so now, lock this. Just, you know, no, not right now. Do that, we'll press the P10, caps lock off, and you kind of see right here where it broke, comes through. So we can start at the bottom or the top. Curve that matches that one. Drag it out here. This one you can just kind of go like when we keep the side of but we're not erasing the green, we're gonna paint over it. So let's press A and Gonna need. So that's good enough for government work. So, uh, oh, and of course, it's already on inverse, just what I wanted this time, but not last time. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our blue, kind of bright, press B, now we're going to just paint areas we need, just overlap the green, okay, we'll press control D, now we're going to hover over the icon, Remember this from the from the first video I posted? I'm gonna hover over the layer thumbnail icon. Are we gonna call it? We'll hold down Control click. Okay. Then now I'm gonna go select inverse. Then we're gonna go we're gonna go back to the blue. Go back to the blue area. Press E for eraser. Watch this. Perfect. That's what we need right there. I'm gonna take this guy down to 50 also. Might want, actually, you might wanna get progressively lighter the more layers you stack on there. Yeah, there we go, 20. We'll put this guy at like 40. And now we gotta do, if you look, there's another black outline here, and then there's another blue area where the clouds are but there's also this yellow area where the clouds break it the yellow is also surrounded by black so what we're going to do is we're going to do like we did here press P first we'll select our black it's P and we're going to do the same kind of get up there drag here I'm going to do it right here as close as possible. Like I said, we're not worry about the exactness a little bit later. Kind of right here. I'm kind of guessing. Like I can see, but I know you guys can't. Right about there. I said I can see this, but maybe you can too. If you got a 4K monitor. You probably can. Drag that guy there. Then we're gonna go click A and then. Eyes handle this one and alt pro All right, fine, but I don't want you guys to sit here and listen to complete emptiness. That's good enough for government work. 
Maybe not. I don't want a I don't want a little little booty right here sticking out. And we'll do the same thing. Right click, and we're gonna go make selection. And like I said before, you guys can just fast forward till you see me like paint this out, and then I start something else that we don't have to hear me drone on. And since we already got our paint selected, we're gonna press B. And remember, it's inverse because you see the marching ants around the border. So gotta do that. Paint inside here. Good. Now this is the black I'm using. Go. And I know since there's a yellow part in here, and I'm going to go uh, black border, say uh, yellow area. Just name it something so you know what it is. Then we're going to put the yellow area. I, you know what I didn't do? I didn't add a freaking path. Guess what? Get to do it again. There's never I have to do it again. It's yet to do it again. Doctor told me. So let's another get up here. Sorry, guys. For those of you who are following me, you're probably, I was. I didn't mean to do that. So we'll name it a uh, black border yellow area. Out here it's selected. Do this. Put the same thing. You can even copy the right click and copy the word and paste it. Okay, black border. Trust me, you want to do this because it's beneficial to you later. Just learn from your mistakes and I've been doing this for a while and I just made a mistake but not so much in Photoshop I'm still kind of I'm new ish I don't do this a lot give me okay caps lock off in drag ow okay I'm gonna go hold down alt and hold down mouse single let go of the mouse button alt go let go this we just kind of we can peek old military term from when I was in the Navy when we made 45 tightened up our stuff by pulling them through the spring areas under the mattress we would pull the sheets and twist them so they tightened up real tight. So when the company commander came by to drop his quarter, like I said, here you got to go outside because we're doing an outline. Order. This one. Alt, no, because we make it out so we can see a clear separation. Between but I don't gotta be. Go, let's right click, select, and we'll go B. Oh, not again. Know the hotkey for that, but I want to show you where it's at. Plus, I'm stubborn. We'll go Control D for unselect. Okay, now this one will set to 20. Okay. Okay. 20. <laughs> Tabs, and then there you go. Mazel tov. Got the black border. Now we're doing the. Oh. So, Yellow, we'll call it yellow base. Keep it selected. Base. 
go. <clears throat> now we'll get our pen tool again. First, we'll probably need to bring this up a little bit. There we go. Let's click back on yellow base. Don't forget that. Okay, P for pen tool. Oh man. You brushed P for pen tool. I don't know why I had to do that. Let's kind of offset our pen tool something. Do the same thing. Some people don't design this way. I would never do that. That's work. I will say that's why no one will remember. Well, quick, what movie was that from? Leave your comment. Drag this. Tell you what, since we all kind of see what I'm doing here, well, it's too late now. I'm already past that. I was going to say <laughs> I'll pause the video here and do the other parts, and then we'll come back when I do something new. But we're about to do something new right now. So let's go ahead. We're just tweaking and peeking. And if you're already done with yours, you can just don't pay no mind to me. I'm just trying to finish. Click. I wish you could just double click it and it would select, but. Yeah, that might even work. We'll try that next time. So let's pick a bright yellow here, and then we're going to make it like the aircraft yellow. ANA color, but we're going to desaturate. Ah. <sighs> Done. We want to go outside. There we go. Now let's see what this all looks like. Black border back. Blue half back up. Green base back. Black base already. Up. There we go. Let's see, it still looks like someone could have did it by hand. It's not like really perfect. But that's kind of like the result we're going to go for. But nothing too perfect, but nothing too bad either. So, I know there's a black piece of paint right here. We can do that separately with the pen tool. We can just kind of go outside the blue a little bit, like a tiny, tiny bit. Bring that in like that, and that in like that. That should be good right there. Have yeah, this. Get our yellow base. And we got a, we got a path for each of these now. This decent area. So let's uh, grab all these. That they're opaque. Forty. Go all together to ten. Go, and then we will lock them all. So we don't touch them. To make the layer. So the next thing we're gonna do are these blue clouds. And we're going to do the black layer. So these, we're not going to use the pen tool unless you really want to. I want to sit here and vector all these. I'm going to do use the brush tool and the hardness set all the way up. And we're going to paint outside the lines and we're going to use. These is our clipper. We're going to select, even though it's locked, you can still select the information. And we're going to select the inverse and cut around it. So that's what we're going to do for these. In this layer, we'll put it in lowercase so that we know it, there's no work path for it. Blue clouds. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Blue clouds. Um, 
black area first. And then we'll select our black and we'll press B. And we're just gonna do the sizing brackets. If it's not exactly what you want, it's close enough right there. Do the black. Oy, come on, dude. Something's wrong. So let's go control D. There we go. So something was selected somewhere, maybe a little tiny, tiny node somewhere. Go there. That one's a little bit bigger, so we're going to go. It doesn't matter because we're going to cut any. Do that one. Go one more bigger with that one. Maybe not. If it's not exactly what you want, you can type in. Go 6, 25. See. Good enough. Probably about the same size. Do these. About that size. And this. Yeah, we're just matching it up. And not everything needs a path. This these clouds are inconsequential. We can just paint them back in or change them if we want to with, with the brush. We don't really need paths for that. There's other parts of those that you don't need paths for. But like we can paint the skull out if we wanted to, but I want this on a path just to show you how you can do. It. We'll do that, and that one's a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. So right there, we'll just simply cut off right here, and we'll just paint outside. Side, same thing. We're getting the cloud shape. We just gotta remember this was 625. We're gonna go like 600. Five. There we go. We got the. Yeah, done. Let's go back to paths. Yeah, we didn't name it. Now we're gonna do blue clouds. We'll do that lowercase also so we know there's no path with it. Or however you choose to identify. You can put MP dash whatever. Blue clouds. This will set to 40. Maybe not. Let's go 20. That's good enough for me. Lock that. I'm going to go blue that we did. And let's go. Let's cover this other one real fast. Let's go 600. Oh, we could have did that with the brackets. And over here, a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, let's size this up. Can't see this. This is that's okay. Size. No. Thick. Let's go. Just drag it in. And this one's. Like I said, bring this one up. Oh, sorry, I was pushing the wrong damn key. What's going on, man? Now I think we got it covered, so. But we're not done with this yet. Got this. Fifty, thirty, twenty, and we're going to use the eraser tool and all the way. And we're going to zoom in. I got mine set to click and zoom. So I clicked it out here so I wouldn't erase the blue. And we're going to 
Browsing. Edge. Pulse that's black. That's it. So go ahead and click the black border area. I will untick the black. So if control I and the eraser up. And we'll click on the blue, we'll do the same. Now, all these. Grab them all at once. Put all these. In. Okay, not 1,000, but 100. You can kind of see how it but went there. Now we need to select the yellow. And shift control I for inverse. We're gonna click on, no, not that one, but blue. There we go. All perfect. Hold D. So there we go. So now we got the big parts out of the way. Now we're gonna do the more Detailed areas, I guess you could say. Uh, these ones we will be using the pen tool on. And even turn all these off for a second. These little guys here, I, I might put those in, but not right at this, not this second. So the next thing we're going to do is skull. Put this in big letters because we're going to make this a path. Path. I. It's skull. Click in the blue area. No, it's still selected. Client. Just zoom in. So to do this, you hold down space bar and you can bring the hand tool up. You can just. Zoom in one more time. One more little bar. So one twelve. That's P. Get the caps lock off. You can probably do this whole entire area. One take. So we're not going to capture all these little nuances right here. We're just going to do it just for time purposes. So we'll click and drag right here because we might want to go here. Little baby dent which we'll fix. Dent from baby. Drag this guy up. That it doesn't look good right now. Fix it up. I clicked wherever I click, it centers right there. Click it and drag and so you can just go ahead and fast forward to you see me start painting it white. How's the video right here and when I come back we'll be done. Okay guys, <clears throat> as you can see we're back, I've traced this out. There's something I did want to show you. In case you forget to put a, a node in. So like right here, drag this in, say 
that actually worked out. <laughs> so say you want to put one right here and bring it up. Unfortunately, there's no hot key or right. Maybe there's a right click. No, there's not. So you have to find the pin, click and hold. Right in that little corner area, you find the add anchor point. Then you would simply just click right there and press A again. Actually, it went back to A by itself. And you would just drag it up like that. And that's how you add nodes so actually you could just click 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 right here and get the basic shape and refine as you go in <clears throat> you just call it I, I call it the squeeze technique where you just kind of get the shape add more nodes draw them in add more nodes draw them in add more nodes draw them in draw them in draw them in to you, you shrink wrap it's kind of like vacuum forming but you're doing it digitally so I'll pause the video here and I'll finish up the teeth and the jaw and it'll, it'll be painted already so see you in a little bit. All right, hey fellows, there's something I need to show you here. Um, see, control D. Okay, so I pinned these all out. These are all individual paths right here. And unfortunately, I put them here for some odd reason. This appeared because I didn't have the skull selected. Now I have to actually work on this. So if they were still up here, you have to click on one, hold down control, actually, I mean shift, hold down shift, and you have to select them all before you right click and go select. Otherwise, it'll just select one of the profiles you made. So there we go, let's do that. And then they're, they're all selected. Oh Lord, I did it again. We just control D out. So as you can see here, we got the uh, press A. We got the skull done. And we just kind of we, we didn't copy it exactly. We kind of made it smooth and everything. And then the only other thing we got to do now are the red bolts. And these are done the same way. In fact, you you don't even have to use the pen tool. You can use the lasso tool if you want. If you want straight lines, I mean that's pretty easy. In fact, I'll I'll just do that right here. So first, let's make another path. Call it red bolts. Keep it selected. Layers, skull. You'll, I know there's no black yet, but there's a reason for that. So red bolts because the black and the red bolts and the skull is like all one piece. So that's, that's why we haven't done that yet. And now we got red bolts selected. Our path is selected. So now we can just press the L for lasso. You can kind of just create, create that. See the circle, how it showed up. Remember the first video? That means you're about to close the profile. So well, there we go. So there's one, and we'll pick our press X to get the color back to print. So it's kind of bright, so we'll bring it. Press B. That's not so saturated. Then we'll use a lasso tool again. I'm just pressing L to get to the lasso. Kind of make. Bring this a little shorter because I'll show you the reason why. This one's the same thing. You just roll up until you get the close and then you press B. Good, right there. Press B. <clears throat> okay. So now we're going to make a layer. I'm going to click on blue clouds. We're going to make a layer underneath. We're going to make it, uh, we'll just say it's Skull and bolts, black area. Okay, and then we'll do the same in the paths. We're gonna add a, lay, a work path. Oh, red bolts didn't need one. I used the last. One. This one will. We'll just leave it down here. Skull and bolts, black area. 
it's going seven volts, huh? There we go. So that's good. Make sure it's selected. Make sure that's done. So we're gonna do the same thing with the pen tool, guys. We're just gonna go around. So I'm gonna pause the video here and lay that all down and, and color it and, and come back and we should be almost done with this. Okay, be in a little bit. Okay, guys. I got this all laid out now, so well of course it all moved together because I have all of them selected. Okay. Hmm. So unfortunately it's it skinnier as it goes out. That's the one of the drawbacks of making these exact. Now I have to go. This one right here, I can draw. Breath, but anyway. Also, I wanted to show you when you're clicking and dragging and say you got to go up here in the middle of doing that, you can hold down the space bar drag up and your pen tool will automatically reappear and you can just keep going. So that's how you can, if you're doing a big area, you don't have to have the screen zoomed out so far where you can't actually. So let's go ahead and make selection. I'm gonna do the black that we did before and let's uh, zoom out. Press B. <laughs> we should be over this by now, I know. Color outside the wall. Good, right? Probably going to. Uh, control D. So remember, how do we edit our work pads again, guys? Good job. We got the pads. Got that selected. We press A. And now. Let's uh, change this node. Fortunately, I have to do insert anchor. A little bit around like that. And wrong way. Just bring it up a little bit. Same thing for this. Now this one. We'll press A and we'll deselect. Make selection. Press B. Zoom out. Let's make this bigger. Right bracket key. Thought it would stay that way. Oh god. That could be my nickname on the forums. You could just call me inverse. <laughs> Alright. So I'm pretty happy with this. It's good enough for government work. I know we didn't put the crack in the skull up here. Um that you can do that if you want to, but anyway, we got all of our work paths that we can edit. I showed you how to edit them. Turn everything back on. And then now we can go ahead and delete this guy. And there we go. So we're done. Let's go win. Get on screen. And we'll always save. So control S. I got mine set to save every one minute automatically. So if I ever got a B saw or the power went out, I'll have most of what I do. But there you go, guys. You can see my colors aren't too saturated or anything like that. But they're bright, they're vibrant enough. In the game, they would be like, you know, really good. They look like a brand new deal. Um, I also know we didn't put the black right here, but you know, this is mine. I don't have to. I I don't want to. I, I want to keep it the way it is right there. I just want it to look like they painted green and then painted blue and then they did the yellow and then they did the black all that but there it is i know this was a real long video you know damn near an hour 
but I hope I taught you something, even if you skipped ahead and all that. I hope this excites you and makes you want to make skins or do emblem restorations, which are really fun. I've been doing it for oh seven or eight years now. Even before um, this sim even came out, I was already doing it because I played uh, Wings of Prey. And you can also skin that game. So I was also doing like the, the HE 162A1 and all that and doing the AG1 emblem and everything, putting them in. So I was already doing it. I really enjoyed making the uh, career emblems for you guys. I'm very happy that some of my work got in there. Thanks to Jason for giving me that opportunity. It actually pushed me beyond <laughs> I think where anywhere I thought I could ever do. I thought I would never be able to do that many or any of that, even the skins that I do. It takes practice. So I try to do something every day in Photoshop, even if it's small, guys. Just play around with it. That's how, that's how I learned. I watched tutorials, and I just... I just tried stuff and paint something, press control, all press shift and click. They do, do whatever to see what it does. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys later. Uh, like I said, I hope this helped you. I'm not going to delete this one. I'm going to save it. I'll see you again tomorrow.